This week on Rush Outdoors, we're chasing long beards and walleye. We'll explore some interesting tidbits with Tori's topics. And of course, member footage with Rush Uncut. Awesome New York block. Oh, oh. We're taking a great buck back to New York. Got a really nice buck. Craziness. He's down. What a buck. He's a really good buck. Oh my God. Rush Outdoors is brought to you by Runnings, your home farm and outdoor store. Closed captioning for Rush Outdoors is brought to you by the Wayne County Department of Tourism. Look them up online at waynecountytourism.com. Hey everyone, welcome to Rush Outdoors. I'm Realtree Pro Staff for Tim Anders. Today I'm right outside of Sodas Point Park here, Sodas Bay, Wayne County. You know, Wayne County is always noted for the trout and salmon fishing, the bass fishing, and they mention the perch once in a while. But their perch fishing is unbelievable. No matter what time of the year, spring, summer, fall, winter, it's early fall. We made a ride down here to get the report. And another thing Wayne County is known for right here in the water, great restaurants. As you can see, Lake Ontario is a little bit rough. The nice thing about Sodas Bay, you go a quarter or half mile in, it's like a farm pond. But we're looking for calmer waters. Let's join Pro Safer Keith Bartholomew on a spring turkey hunt in two states. Okay, first road trip of the year. Spring turkeys down in Kentucky. We're gonna go down for the opener. Got the Carlson's choke tube in this Beretta and uh, we're looking to put the Keystone calls to use and we're gonna let the feathers fly, hopefully. So come along and join us. First trip for 2019. All right, guys, we did it. We called this bird all the way across that ridge. I had seen this bird all the way across, and I told Brad, I texted my teammate Brad Wilcock, I said, uh, right by your, your blind, the one that I shot my buck out of this last year with my PSE, and uh, I go, that big boy is right there underneath that. He's got a Black Hawk Covert wireless camera uh, on that. I said, you're gonna get an image of that dang uh, turkey. He's gonna walk right in front of it. Uh, less than five minutes later, he had sent me the image, and uh, sure enough, sure enough, he come uh, over down on the other side of the ridge there, and I made a bunch of calls and with the Keystone calls, and uh, the rest is history. He closed the distance, and uh, he got up here to the decoy. He's got a little nervous, and we put the old bead on him, put the Carlson choke tube right to use, and uh, here he is. Man, what a nice bird. He's got uh, probably 10 and a half inch beard and an inch and a quarter spurs, I would say real sharp spurs, so 
We're tagged out here in Northern Kentucky and this has just been a dream come true. We've taken a lot of animals right here at this spot. So uh, white tails and uh, now we took an, our first turkey right here. So becoming my favorite area right here, here in Northern Kentucky. So uh, God has blessed me again. Runnings, incredible selection at competitive prices. Check us out. The shores of Lake Ontario and Orleans County have long been an angler's dream. Recently named the World Fishing Network's ultimate fishing town, Point Breeze offers world-class fishing for lake trout, brown trout, and steelhead, as well as coho Atlantic and Chinook salmon. A full-service marina will help with all of your boating needs, while abundant tackle shops and one of the premier charter fleets on Lake Ontario can help you catch your next trophy. Numerous restaurants are available, and at the end of the day, our lodging facilities will provide you with a comfortable place to relax. Hook up with one of our fitty friends right here in Orleans County. I love New York. I'm Ashley Martin. Welcome to Martin's Marina. Come on in, I'll show you around. We're one of Lund's top dealers in the Northeast. We also have a wide variety of Avalon pontoon boats, all equipped with Mercury motors. We pride ourselves on our service. All of our technicians are Mercury certified. Pick from our selection of Shoremaster docks and a full line of accessories to complement your dock, as well as boat hoists. But that's not all. Here at Martin's, we have all your boating needs, from dockage, self-service gas, inside storage, and winterization. So come on down to Martin's Marina in beautiful Cape Vincent, New York. Nestled in the heart of St. Lawrence County, Black Lake is one of New York's most pristine family vacation destinations. This one-of-a-kind body of water offers fishing for the entire family. And when you get off the water, there are numerous shops and museums, along with a local winery featuring live music throughout the summer. The world-renowned St. Lawrence River is only 20 miles away, offering boat tours of the Thousand Islands and its many historic castles and lighthouses. For more information, on campgrounds, cottages, and entertainment, you can look online at blacklakeny.com. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Orleans County, the New York Sportsman's Expo, PSE Archery, CVA, Scentlock, Nocturnal Lighted Knox, Block Targets, IQ Bow Sights, True Fire Releases, the Black Lake Chamber of Commerce, North Country Troopers Assisting Troops, Steel, Voss Signs, and these fine sponsors. Okay guys, opener of spring turkey season right here in the home state of New York. Uh, I'm looking forward to this. We got a good start on the season and looking forward to get the New York season kicked off. Well, all right, we just got it done here in New York. Wow, what a hunt. Finally got that bird fired up. Boy, come in, he's, I don't know, 25 yards. 
Um, I had to keep jockeying the camera around from window to window here. We got four jakes here still just strutting around. But uh, yeah, he's a pretty good bird. Um, <laughs> let's go check him out. Keystone Claws did it again. All right, man, we just laid the smack down on a nice New York Spring Gobbler opening day here. Let's go check him out. Beauty. We had uh, three or four jakes come in early and then a couple hens. And then uh, I seen three other birds coming way down the field and I kept calling and they seen the decoys here and they, uh, two of the jakes came this way. I seen there was a long beard with them and uh, wouldn't you know it, he wouldn't come into the opening right here right by me. The jakes walked probably six, seven yards from me. But uh, he looped around, he popped out down here out in the cornfield, started strutting, gobbling. I got him fired up with a keystone call there. And, um, Man, he's the biggest bird that we have in this uh, in this patch of woods right here. So I've been watching him. There's a bunch of other birds, but he committed this morning. He uh, he seen the decoys. I got him fired up. I got another hen fired up with her, uh, and uh, she didn't like that uh, the other boss hen here in the area. So he turned. She came. He he came with four jakes, and. Uh, he got up here. I didn't get a lot of pre-roll of him right here. Uh, he stepped into my opening and I had to shoot uh, before I had to jockey the camera again inside of the ground blind. But uh, big bird down here in central New York. Probably got inch and a quarter spurs. Good bird, nice sharp spurs. Tori's Topics is brought to you by Vortex Optics. Hey everyone, Victoria Furchaw here. I'm at the Runnings in Brockport, New York, and it's time for Tori's Topics. And this week, we're gonna head to the woods with John for an archery tip. Hey everybody, John Lennox with Rush Outdoors and the world of Rush Outdoors. Now we're just a few short weeks from the New York Archery Opener, and I can promise you that nothing will send my self-confidence through the roof like practicing in a real world hunting situation. I've climbed up here in a Millennium tree stand. I'm gonna fling a few arrows down here at my Glendale buck. Give it a try, you'll be amazed at what it does for your self-confidence when the season opens. Thanks for the tip, John. Well, that's it for this week's Tories Topics, brought to you by Vortex Optics. I'll catch you next week. Rush Outdoors is also brought to you by Martin's Marina, Dry Shod Boots, Muzzy Broadheads, Glendale 3D Targets, Millennium Tree Stands, Carbon Express Arrows, QAD Arrow Rests, Hunter Safety Systems, The Whitetail Institute of North America, 
covert scouting cameras. The resort at Snug Harbor, Briars Riverside Market, and these fine sponsors. And like I said, not more than a half mile away, look at the water, it's calm. That's a great thing about right here for Lakes Rough. You can be right in the bay here, get some great fishing. But right now it's time to change things up a bit. Join Pro Staffer John Lennox and I. We're headed to another great lake, Lake Erie. Fishing with Brad Darcy Smith on Barcelona Charters. Always a great time. Barcelona Charters, out of Barcelona, New York. We'll be eating good tonight. Absolutely. As I've said many times, there's never a bad time fishing with Brad and Darcy, and I love walleye. Enough said. Hey folks, Brandon Thomas from Rush Outdoors. And when I want to know what's going on in the outdoors in New York State, I turn to the New York Outdoor News. Okay, now it's time for this week's Covert Corner, brought to you by Covert Scouting Cameras. This week we feature a pick sent in by field sapper Joe Peel, a strawberry looking coyote. Check it out. Awesome looking coyote. That's why Joe Peel and everyone else at Rush Outdoors relies on covert scouting cameras. We soaked a competitor's rubber boot and a dry shot rubber boot to show you why these other boots get heavy when wet and can even rot away at the seam when subjected to farm chemicals. Dry shot boots are treated with hydrocoat that repels water as well as mud, ice, and organic chemicals. As you can see, the neoprene on the competitor's boot is soaked. Meanwhile, the dry shod boot completely sheds the water. Dry shod, the world's most wearable rubber boots. At the Whitetail Institute, there's a lot of things we could talk about, like pioneering the food plot industry, our extensive research, or our customer success and the world and state records we've helped produce. But what we don't talk enough about is our customer service, and like our product line, is by far the best in the business. We have the expertise to help you improve the quality of your deer and your deer hunting. So contact us today. The call and the consultation are free. We look forward to the opportunity to earn your business. The new Block Vault is the most technologically advanced archery target ever built. The four-sided shooting lets you shoot it close, long, precise, and real. 
Shoot field chips, broadheads, and expandables. Block Vault's high-density open-layered core and polyfusion design stops all high-speed bows and smaller diameter arrows with friction, not force. Block Vault. Get locked in. Before the calm. Before the hunt. Before the climb. It starts with a passion, and that passion starts at Runnings. The best gear and supplies from the most trusted brands in hunting. When you get the shot, will you be ready? Runnings, your home, farm, and outdoor store. Here we go! Finally. Just harvested my first black bear. He's down. This is what hunting is to us. He is great. Good buck. You saw it here in Rush Outdoors. All right, man, what do you think? I like it, it's awesome. All right, hey, welcome to Rush Uncut. I'm Keith Bartholomew, this is Brandon Thomas. We're here at Dryden Lawn and Recreation in Dryden, New York. Yeah, Keith, we're taking some gators for a spin, so Let's quit talking and get to it. All right, let's do it. All right, Rush Uncut's the member-driven portion of our show where you, the viewer, can see yourself on TV. Hey, Keith, who do we have up for our first hunt? All right, let's jump right into it. We got Rush Uncut member Shane Smith, turkey hunting with the youth. That's one thing I'll say about Shane Smith. He gives back to the youth and a lot of other people. He's such a passionate turkey hunter. Let's check out and see what he's got for this youth hunt. I just heard one fly down. You better shoot him, man. You better shoot that turkey. Today is opening day here in Kentucky for the Kentucky youth season. And we just called in a nice gobbler for this boy right here. Uh, he put the smack down on one and um, can't ask for nothing better. We're shooting footage for Rush Uncut down here in uh, Lewis County, Kentucky. What a beautiful 50 degree morning we had. And I've got, uh, what's your name? Draven Route. Draven Route. Uh, it's his first turkey. He's uh, what? 15? 15. 15 years old. Booyah, baby! You can't ask for nothing better than that opening morning. Well, folks, we're gonna get off here. We're gonna go get some breakfast. We're gonna make this young man buy us some breakfast. He's game for it. He says he got his first turkey. No, it's on us. So, hey, folks, don't go nowhere. I'm Shane Smith. Driving around. Josh Brown. We'll see you on the next hunt. Hey, Shane, great hunt. You know, you never cease to impress. You're always taking the youth out, and you're a great mentor for all the youth. Good job, Shane. All right, up next we have Rush Uncut member Gordon Wood. He's gonna take us across the border to New Brunswick to Texas River Outfitters, spring black bear hunting. It's the third night here in New Brunswick, Canada. Texas River Outfitters with Larry Davidson. 
on the way in, we had a really, really cool encounter with a young bear in the roadway. Actually, I got a good cell phone video because the big camera was put away. But my guy Jamie's down here refreshing the bait that was in. It was wiped out good, so he's getting ready to get out of here. I'm giving him the thumbs up, and uh, I'm going to kill a bear. Stick around, we'll see what happens. Put a good shot on a bear. We started tracking it and I think we got him right up here. We're gonna make our way that way and see what we got when we get here. So let's go. Jamie, lead the way. Nice bear. That's a good bear. Beautiful bear. Yep. Black. Very nice. Very nice. Good job. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Glad I can help you. Let's get them loaded up and let's get out of here. Hey Gordon, great hunt. Thanks for sending in that footage. By the way, I also heard Gordon happened to kill the biggest bear in camp that week. I think he did. Congratulations, Gordon. That's one heck of a bear. All right, for picture of the week, we have Rush Uncut member Alicia Midlar with a nice bass she caught earlier this summer. All right, do you want to become a member? Log on to rushoutdoors.com, click onto the Rush Uncut logo, follow the simple steps, join our team. We want to have you. Or sign up in person at the Great New York Sportsman's Expo at the end of January and come meet the entire Rush staff. All right, guys, don't forget to rush outdoors with a camera. camera. All right, Keith, hit it. No, 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 no. Oh, come on. <laughs> rush on Cut is brought to you by Fire Tower Doubles, Doe V Motors. Upstream Construction, Dryden Lawn and Recreation, Iron Skillet Seasonings, The Hunting Buddy App, Four Seasons Archery, Woody's Maple Syrup, Prime Cuts Barbershop, The Rope Guys, O'Brien's Restaurant and Bar, IBEW 43, and IBEW 1249. Well, that's all the time we have this week. Thanks for tuning in. Next time I'm here in Sodus Bay, I'll be on that water pulling some big old jack perch. From everyone at Rush Outdoors, I'm your host Tim Andrus. I'll see you on the water. For live updates, like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram. This week we feature, feature, P.O. Peacher. Hi everyone, I said hi.